Okay, uh, I'm starting a series on uh, Lightwave 9.5. Let's get started with the new bone tools. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to hit uh, Control N to have a null object so we can attach some bones. And let's add a bone, and you'll see that uh, now there's some options. Let's add a child bone equals sign to add a child bone. And I'll rotate that over here. And Shift R to stretch it out, rest length, and equals. And why the rotate? And let's create another one. We're going to create a little <coughs> uh, item there, a little uh, joint chain here, or I mean a uh, bone chain. And uh, as you can see, one thing is um, now bones can be represented uh, as shaded solid objects, which makes them much easier to see and to pick out and to, to manipulate. And also, the um, if you go into hit D to bring up your uh, display preferences and you click on handles and icons, you'll see the different options. If you uncheck this, you'll see the bones like they used to be shown, which is just a wireframe. And if you turn off or on this auto size bone, you'll see that the um, shape of the bone actually changes depending on how short it is. When it's shortened out, it gets fatter, and when it's um, uh, it gets stretched out when it's longer as, as there. So um, you can uh, choose to have that type of display or not. And now another uh, new, uh, there's an, actually a new type of bone. If you go ahead and select this and hit P for properties, you'll see that there's a Z axis, which is your normal bones, and then there's a joint. And when you see that, when you select joint, you'll see that um, it turns into a, like a little uh, ball or circle. Uh, I'll show you the differences here in a minute. Let's select this and we'll have a joint chain right next to it. So, we'll, oops, we'll go here and under add, we've got uh, joint. And you'll see it just looks like a ball until you add another joint. So let's go ahead and, and draw, draw some child joints. All right, we'll draw like a little leg set up here. And we'll do that. And we'll draw like a little tiny nub there for that to put our IK handle on if we want to do that later. So we'll draw like a little foot set up. All right. So um, you'll notice that the joints look different, but they behave differently as well. For example, if you were to um, move this joint, the uh, the bone attached to it stretches to meet it. And uh, the same for all of them. If you were to move these, you'll see that the bone kind of squashes and stretches. And you can animate this too. Here, I'll show you. I'll, I'll, I'll prove it to you. We'll go here. And we'll go here. And if you had a mesh attached to this, you'll get squash and stretch with your, with your mesh. And so you got that for free. You didn't have to really do anything to it. So there's a, a bunch of different things you can do with that. I'm going to delete the... Uh, I'm going to delete the keys for that, so we're back to normal. All right, so that's, and if you were to, to do that, if you were to move this, you'll see that the bones uh, go with it. And if you were to move a standard bone like that, you'll see that it comes away from its hierarchy. And so uh, that is a, a very big difference. Now, I've noticed some of the things aren't working correctly with uh, the uh, joint chains at this point, which is, for example, if you go to the hierarchy, um, let's see, where is it at under here? Uh, control W, if you were to mirror, let's say you had this leg set up correctly and you wanted to mirror that hierarchy from the right side to the left side or vice versa. I haven't had luck with getting the joint chains to, to react to that. Um, but there is one cool thing uh, for the joint chain which is um, there's now an automated function for making uh, a really complex uh, rig, like for example for, for legs and stuff like that. If you go to, uh, you won't see it in here, it's called make joint chain. And uh, you won't see it in here by default, I think. But uh, you can go to Edit Menu Layout. And let's search for it. Make Joint Chain is what it's called. There it is. And uh, let's add it to the Setup tab. We'll add it under, um, I guess, not Modify, but uh, we'll add it under Edit. All right. Well, you can add it wherever. We'll add it under General. There you go. So Add. And now you'll see that the Make Joint Chain button is now there. So that's a way to show you how to edit the uh, menu layout. Uh, you can edit you know, what comes up with when you uh, click different bu buttons and whatnot using go to Edit, ed Edit Menu Layout, and that's how that's done. All right, so let's see here. I think we, uh, I haven't used this tool more than once, but we select the objects that make up our chain. 
the two bone objects and then the little hierarchy object there at the end. Just click on make joint chain and there it is. We get a little joint object and let's make sure that uh, IK is enabled. And um, as you can see, we have a joint chain that's been created for us that moves around and it has another new option which is what we call a, a pole vector or an up vector and this will keep the joint chain from flipping around and also it uh, can point the knee or the elbow of the object and so you didn't have to set up anything and as you can see the IK is extremely stable now um, you might want to set maybe uh, match goal orientation on this so that uh, the leg, the foot doesn't flip around or something like that like it's doing there but as you can see uh, you didn't have to do anything. If you go into the motion panel for this, uh, joint, these joints here and stuff, if I can get these selected. Oh, I can't select these because it also, if you go and bring up your uh, your uh, scene editor here, you'll see that it actually locks the joints for you, which you may or may not want. I'm going to unlock these temporarily just so I can show you the motion options. <clears throat> and as you can see, it actually it actually goes in and sets all the different items that you need the, it sets the limits for you it sets the uh, goal and target for you and it sets the target item in the pull vector and, and does everything for you so really once you've got this figured out all I did was select like for example in this leg setup I selected those two bones and I selected that little bone at the end and um, as you can see I've got a, a fully functioning uh, leg joint which uh, as you can see it it, uh, it it really it doesn't break at all and, and light, Lightwave's old IK system you see I'm, I'm moving this leg you really have to make the I mean you could you wouldn't really do this go underneath there and stuff but as you can see, this this uh, this IK is, is is very very stable. So there's um, some of the options there. You've got uh, you've got bones that have new uh, display items. You have a uh, uh, new joint system, and you have um, a new automated uh, IK creation tool. And uh, there's even more with IK FK blending, which is in a, another tutorial. Hope this helps out.